Hey, good fox here. Today we are going to do a shopping spree of budget silver studs. So I will send, I'll put a link in the description of the guys I'm going to get through this shopping spree. You can read the reasons why these players are the ones I'm getting in the link to my website. Um, I have the guys I'm going to get. There's the silver studs for offense, defense, both the 4-3 and the 3-4. I'm going to be putting together the 4-3 defense today. Uh, the 3-4 you can look at too. Those are more blitzing outside linebackers. It might You put more talent on the field in the 3-4 because you get higher uh, speed linebackers there than defensive linemen. But we'll, um, we'll go past that. I prefer the 4-3. Um, I'll be doing this uh, for gold players too after this. And then uh, once more again, I'm going to upgrade that gold squad with elites. So I'll look for that in the future. But after this silver studs goes up, this budget squad, I'll be playing a game. That video should be up. Right after this one, or maybe the next day. I'm not sure how it's going to break out or how it's going to break down quite yet. All right, so let's get right into it. First up, let's go for the quarterback. Mike, well, let's look at the lineup first. All right, uh, edit player lineup. So I had a couple of the guys that I wanted already in my squad from the amount of packs I ripped. As you see in the upper left corner, 2,300 con contracts. I ripped a bunch of packs already. So these are the guys left over. J.J. Nelson is speed. Grant, speed. This See, the Grant, this Grant isn't a mudhead, and that's what I'm a little worried about. Mudhead didn't have... Every, doesn't have every single player in the game yet. Um, see this Grant? He's there because 92 speed is the... Well, I guess we got to compare him. Um, 92 speed is the fastest halfback besides for Dree Archer. I wasn't gifted Dree Archer. Some people were gifted Dree Archer in their welcome pack. So if you are blessed with Dree and his 93 speed, put him as your halfback and just enjoy yourself. But we'll, we'll have to make do with a little bit lower speed guys at halfback. Uh, Whitlock, there's my fullback. I already got him. Williams, and you can see why I chose them in the blog. Link below again. Gooden will be my user. Um, let's take a look at him quick. His speed is 86. Very good for a silver player, and really any linebacker at the start of Mutt. Uh, tackle, play rec is low, but he's a user. His block shed, unfortunately, is 66. So just run around blocks instead of actually engaging in them. The rest of your defense that we put together here will have good block shed in order to make up for that and our free safety will have lower block shed too alright um, moving on uh, da this Daniel Hunter probably this might be the best silver player in the game 84 speed 86 acceleration 85 block shed the 81 finesse was a little low but crazy numbers for silver right end for that speed so he's like the perfect 4-3 right end for us uh, so if you can, he is probably the cornerstone of this defense. Unfortunately, left ends, there isn't anybody nearly as good as Hunter, but I expect Hunter to be making a lot of plays for me. You can sub in outside linebackers at left end in, in the silver studs, but I will not be putting a, a outside linebacker left end as I really didn't find anything worth writing home about when I did the research, and I did quite a bit of research. This Chapman here at my defensive tackle, uh, we'll, com we'll compare him again to Hayward. So his, of course, block shit is the most important thing I look for in a defensive tackle, any really defensive lineman, to stop the run. Because the running game in Madden 17 is crazy strong. And this guy, strength 87. That man is a little bit, according to the developers. I'm not sold on it as in Madden 16 it didn't matter, but the developers said strength matters when an old lineman hits a D lineman, that initial push. After that, it's all block shed. So we'll see if that holds true in future testing. Uh, but otherwise... High block shed, and this is the highest. Bus, plus, he can move. 70 speed. So we'll be looking for, we'll be looking for a, a gap. So he'll be our more of a pass rushing defensive tackle with 70 speed there. Pretty solid from a silver uh, one right there. Shamarco Thomas will be backing up, and he'll be on kickoff team. Not good enough to crack the starting lineup, though. We'll get another strong safety, but when we get to it. All right, let's get in. Uh, this is the special teams. Goodwin's going to be my returner. Um, Scobie and Malone, you know, special teams. Maybe I'll have to take a look at kickers. But I didn't really look at them too much because we're focused on offense and defense for this team. All right. I got a new award. It's great. Good me. Um, all right. Let's get right into quarterback. Michael Vick is by far the best silver quarterback in my opinion. You know, in in Madden, you're going to need throw power above most everything for a quarterback. In addition to throw power, you want scrambling and de decent accuracy. Um, in Man 17, the accuracy isn't too terrible on quarterbacks. So let's take a look for Vic on the auction house. And he is currently, that's 1100 I'm seeing. Buy it now for 1,000 coins. Michael Vic, 82. Oh, not uh, ended. <laughs> All right, we'll buy this one and take a look at his stats. 
Um, 82 speed, 88 throw power. Um, so there we go. Nice buy. And I got a negotiator achievement. I think I already got that one. All right. Um, 82 speed. And the, his throw act is short, medium, deep, or all in the 70s. But you won't find too many silver stars outside of the 70s. So he's got the right mix of stat that we want. And, you know, awareness doesn't matter on a quarterback, as EA has confirmed and we've found in the past. So throw on the run. So I'm used to using Vic in 16. I used his boss card for about six months. So lefty won't bother me none. If it does bother you, uh, then maybe look to either um, figure that out. So Vic will be our quarterback. Let's move on. Um, again, look a little bit further down the blog. We're going to get Darkwa as our running back. And you ask, like, who's that? What's that? Um, he is a halfback. That's right. He's not a, not a quarterback. So he's got decent speed, 88 speed. Not, you know, it's not 92, 93. Um, let's just go. To, we'll just keep it on silver. All right, so he's going for a thousand coins too. So we'll just give that a good pickup. Um, 88 speed, and he's got trucking. So trucking, I feel in man 17 is much better than elusiveness. And just like 16, I thought trucking was a little, trucking was a little bit better than elusiveness because in in 16 it was all about the double juke to elude players. In 17, I think trucking and stiff arm are really what you want to do. And he's got 88 speed, 87 agility, 87 acceleration. A good balance back. His carrying's 82. Pretty decent for a silver. I mean, if you want to get somebody like Niall Davis, um, his carrying's like 77. He's got similar stats as Darkwell here. But I, I, I really want... I've seen a lot of fumbles, and that's what I'm really worried about. So when you have these halfbacks, make sure and rotate them quite frequently. As we move on to our third down back... Um, Process, I believe is how you say it. P R O. Not as familiar with the silver guys' names. I'm familiar with a lot of them, but uh, that was last year. All right. So C J. This will be our third down back again. 88 speed. You gotta have high speed. It's more of a balanced elusiveness and trucking as we as we place the big so we don't get bought out from underneath us again. All right. So this guy. He has uh, ball carry vision a little low, but the thing that he's going to be a third down back is because he can catch the ball, uh, 74 catching, and he can pass block, 62 pass block. So oftentimes on third down, we'll leave a running back in to block, and you need somebody. You don't want 30 pass block there. You want somebody on third down to be able to do those versatile things. I mean, he, we'll take a look at his um, spectacular catch and traffic. The route running at 74 is important. So, CJ, welcome to the squad. Next. We need somebody to absolutely just bang, just bang down there, um, get us, pick us first downs, and you know who it is, the boss, Mr. Derrick Henry. Ooh, 600 coins, perfect. Let's buy it before we get sniped. Yes, got it for 600 coins. All right, so we got Mr. Derrick Henry here. Uh, look over, 86 speed, still high speed, and that's really important. Still, an 87 trucking. He's six foot three, mountain of a man. Bell carry vision 84, so we can really find those holes in between linemen. Agility is a little low, but acceleration 86. You won't need to move side to side with, when you're using Henry. Just run straight forward, blow through the offensive and defensive line with this guy, 87. So, Derek Henry, welcome to the squad, my man. All right, moving on. We got Whitlock, the fullback. So now we got to move on to receiver. And receiver, there's really two ways of going about it. Either go with just pure speed. We get like Philip Dorsett, and we'll take a look at him. Rashad Perriman, Jakeem Grant. I got JJ on the on the team already. All right, so Dorsett here. Looks like he's going for a little bit. Uh, 1,300. Ain't too bad. I think we can pick that up. Let's pick up Dorsett, 92 speed. And speed is the most OP stat in Madden, so that is something that we are going to want to harness on our team. You know, his other stats, route running, elusiveness. With a silver card, you're not going to be perfect, but it is what it is. 5'10", not anything great. Dorset, welcome to the team. We'll take a look again at Perriman, but I think Dorset, he won't be in there much because we're going to want to get uh, guys that can block. We'll take a look at Perriman quick and see uh, what he's going for, but I do not think I will be invested in Perriman. He's a little pricey. Looks like those Baltimore silvers are pretty pricey here. So, no, this is... 8,000 coins is not worth it because he's gonna, he's a set player and it looks like people really want the pyramid based on last year and his speed. Six foot two is very important to have with that speed. All right, but we're going to move on to better run blocking guys. So we'll go with uh, Brown, Jerron Brown first. 
I'll probably just be able to find another brown. Well, there's a few few different browns. All right, this brown is 3,200. Um, he's he's eh, 87 speed is okay, but the reason we're gonna get him over anybody else, and I mean these cardinals, is the 64 run block. I think I'm actually gonna pass on this car because he is a part of the Cardinals organization and Cardinal Silvers go for more than they should. So we are going to switch it up and we're gonna go Sammy Coates is another one with good run block. Alright, Sammy Coates here for 1,000 coins. That will be enough. Um, we are going to buy that. Sammy Coates, welcome to the squad. So we have three receivers currently. We need four. It'd be ideal to get three good run blocking receivers. Um, and uh, Nelson Aguilar is the next one that we're going to get. He's a good run blocker also. Let's hopefully he's not too expensive. All right. There it is. Nine fifth, 900. Nelson, welcome. So he's also a decent run blocker. You know, two run blocking wide receivers. Is that enough? Let's, let's, actually I'm going to go on Mudhead right now and look for a, a good run blocking wide receiver that's not part of the Cardinals organization. That's not part of it. Yeah. The Silver Cardinals. So tier, silver. Um, anyway, if you guys don't know mudhead.com under mutt database, going to position, going to um, Madden 17, Madden 17 players, you could filter all these things. We're gonna filter by run block for wide receivers. Gonna look down. All right, Huff is the number one. But he's 87 speed. Okay, let's take a look at uh, Josh Huff. 66 run block, 87 speed. That's enough. 87 speed. He's He won't get much separation against the top end corners. But uh, we will have him on the squad for his run blocking capabilities. And we'll take a look at him after uh, pulling the trigger. Uh, yeah. Alright, so Huff. 87 speed. Um, that's what we're worried about. And that to break on man coverage. And then run block 66. So another solid run blocking wide receiver because our offense is going to be based on the ground. All right, so go back to the blog here, gutfox.com, and I think we are set for receivers. Uh, all right, let's go to tight ends. The tight ends we want, James Hanna and Garrett Selleck. So Hanna, Hanna, such a nice name. I prefer it with the H on the end though. Hanna is going for 1400 He's a little pricey for a silver. You can get a lot of gold in this range. Um, but let's pull the trigger. It's not terrible. Alright. So the silver stud, Mr. James Hanna. Well, the reason we get this guy, 84 speed, 83 run block. So we'll be able to beat some linebackers on uh, crossing routes across the field. He's got 84 speed, which is good. Uh, and then the 83 run block, because we are you know, a run-heavy team. Let's run first. Run second, run last. That is the name. That is what we're going to do. I was watching some top-end streamers, and it's just the running game this year. It's all about the running. Passing game can be locked down. Get some picks. Selleck, he is a little pricey. 1,900. Run block still at 83. I, I thought I had a pretty high 83 overall run block. Maybe I did. Maybe it was a gold player. Run block 66. Ooh, that's Hannah. 81. So I got, I got Casa. He's... 80 speed. I think I will take Casa instead. The second tight end I wanted highest run block possible. I didn't care too much because he's not on the field much. Just really a goal line sets for me and maybe some balance sets. So I will take. Uh, I will keep Casa instead of Selleck on the team. Um, Selleck, I will pass on you. But thank you for being a friend. Left tackle. Let's move on. We want run block and left tackle. Nothing else except for run block. Well, maybe some other things. All right, Gary Williams, he's a free agent. Look at that, 82 run block. That's what we want, baby. All right, buy that for 750. That's not too bad. Well, after we pick up our offensive lineman, we will get into the, well, I'll, t I'll show you guys, I'll let you guys look at the roster. And if you're asking yourself, hey, why isn't this guy looking at Styles more? Well, the reason I'm not looking at chemistry um, is because it doesn't matter for guys these at this overall. Golds, silvers, base elites. Like, it's like plus one to some stats. It's better to get the guys that best fit your scheme versus guys that fit some arbitrary 
um, chemistry scheme that's going to boost a stat plus one, plus two, when you can guy get guys that are plus five, plus ten stats better where you want them. All right, 83 run block. 74 plus box low, but that's 83 run block is important. 73 awareness is low, but it's it's what we have to sacrifice in order to get that high run block on this player. All right, um, next we're getting Brian De La Puente. You see, I, I really really got to hope these silver guys are free agents because free agents in this game don't go for much because they're not part of those man of the month sets. All right. Uh, Puente 750. He is a free agent, so we'll take that. All right, Brian, welcome to the squad again. High run block. Awareness pretty low. Impact block 88, so we can really uh, mess some people up in the open field. And pass block at 80 is not too bad either. So De La Puente, he's more of a balanced guy, but still got that nice high uh, pass block and run block. All right, next up is the right guard. Oma me, Oma me, me. That's what I say a lot to, you know, chores. Me. Right guard. Let's see what he's got for us. All right. Who he is going for way too much. Two thousand coins. Part of the Jaguar set. The eighty-six run block. I hate to give that up, but I don't want to pay double for a player. Um, so let's look up alternatives. And. All right, the second best is Gabe Karimi, who's a free agent. Uh, 83 run block, 72 pass block. Quisenberry, also a free agent, 82 run block. Let's see. Who do we want? Karimi, Quisenberry. Uh, I think let's go with... We'll take Karimi. All right, let's go for Karimi. Mr. Gabe. Didn't he win a college outlet or something? Maybe I'm thinking of a different lineman. Okay, 700 coins. Let's buy that. Um, moving on. Next, we got right tackle. Uh, Bowie. B-O-W. I wonder if he's related to David Bowie. Michael Bowie? Michael Bolton? Michael Bolton and David Bowie had a kid. Michael Bowie. Probably not. All right. Dang it. He's a part of the Browns organization, who I guess is going for a lot of coins. Let's look at right tackles now instead of right guards. All right. Right guard. Right tackle. Let's get the ratings here. Mudhead. It's nice and quick. All right. Bowie. All right. Brewer is a free agent. We had a, we downgraded one spot. Well, not really much of a downgrade. Just one. Not losing any pass block. All right, let's go. Let's look for Brewer. Brewer. I wonder if he's good. Uh, if he's got any good home brews for us. 800 coins. All right, 800 is fine for me. I'll take it. I wonder if actually maybe I have. Since I had to switch up my, I probably don't have him right now. All right, let's buy Brewer. All right, Brewer. Uh, what are you from, Milwaukee? You, you like to hang out with Ryan Braun? Brewers. All right, let's look at the offense here. All right, let's place them in the roster here. Finished offensive studs. All right, quarterback, Mr. Michael Vick. Free agents. We got a lot of free agents on the team. Halfback. Henry might be the highest rated, but we're going with Darkwa. You were merely born into light, Darkwa. He didn't see the light until he was already a man. All right. I will put, I think I want to, Henry, I think Henry will be the backup. He'll come in if uh, Dark Wall gets tired. I'll put Henry in first. And then, then I'll put my um, third down running back, Pros. Oh, though he's this highest rated one. But, yeah, he'll be my he'll be our third down running back. So I don't have him tired out for third downs because I definitely need him there. Um, all right, wide receiver three. Let's, let's put wide receiver one in there first. I think... Do I want speed out there first or, or run blockers? I want... I think I'm going to go with uh, Nelson out there as my number one. Six foot one. I think Nelson there. I think my three, I'm going to want ultimate speed. So someone like Dorsett. 
Dorset will be my 3 at 92 speed at 510. I think that's the best way of doing it. You get that, the, the slot guy that can get open, uh, crossers, and other type of routes. All right, Huff, I think I'm going to put him in my 2. He's a run blocking. Although I feel like I, put, I should put my, my yeah, Aguilar and Huff, my run blockers, and then Dorset, and then number 4, I'll put Coates. And then I'll sub in Coates. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I should cut, put Coates at number three and have him as the rum blocker right away. And, uh... Nope. Nope. I didn't get a... Fifth receiver. Well, I got, I got a good one here. He's my kick returner. So, speed again. It right, looks like we already have a balanced offense of chemistry going. But uh, Huff and Aguilar. Dorset at my three. Hmm. Dorset or Coates at the three right away. I think I want to go. Let's let's give it a minute. All right, Williams is there. My left tackle, left guard. Donald Thomas. Center, Mr. De La Puente. Right guard. Oh, we're already getting some boosts to this offense. Kareemy. Extra creamy. Like we like it. And right tackle. The Brewer. The man with the beer. Tight ends. They got a tight end, Mr. Hannah. Hannah Hunt, number one. As we're loading up. Don't crash on me, please. Don't crash on me, please. And it crashed on me, please. All right, cut. Oh, no, no cut. No cut. EA servers are just unavailable. All right. We'll get back in, see what's going on. At least it wasn't in like the middle of the game. I wonder if they're just having trouble because it's it's launch night. All right, lost connection to EA servers. Ethernet cables, just like EA blaming it on me. My Ethernet is fine. I'm gonna check the internet, surf the interwebs. Ah, oh, sweet carbon surfboard. All right, back in. Yeah, totally cool, man. All right, uh, so Hannah did make it into the lineup, fortunately. And the backup is not Selleck, but not a fullback. Casa, 80 speed, 81 run block. AC Leonard, I think, will be our third one because he's got good speed. Um, so I'll just put AC Leonard in now. I'm not going to put any backup. Well, I could pick up, put a pickup backup Lyman, but Lyman didn't get hurt in 16, so I'm just going to... Just gonna roll with it. If I need somebody really fast, AC Leonard is somebody I'm gonna sub in. Um, but there we go. Looks like pass offense is only two away from full chemistry style. But uh, so let, we'll take a look at show chemistry. People getting the boost. I guess AC Leonard's not getting a boost. Who is? This guy would get a boost if he was starting. One strength, one awareness. All right. We boosted a couple guys up. Duh. A little bit. All right, so defense. We're going to go uh, get some defense now. Filling out the roster. 4-3 defense. Just a little bit down on the gutfox.com. Exit lineup screen. Let's start with the safeties. We'll start with free safety. Now let's start with the linemen. Since the linemen are the lowest or the, the first on the list, we're playing a 4-3, so we need defensive ends that can contain the passer, as I talked about before when I talked about uh, Hunter. So, Devin is up first. Devin Taylor. Mr. Two First Names. Always trust a man with two first names. Devin Taylor. 800 coins I'm seeing at the moment. Go to the buy now price. Ooh, 350 for Devin Taylor. Nice, Lions. All right, so his speed is a little bit lower than we'd like. Like I said earlier, though, left ends, it was really rough picking for left ends. I mean, it was really, really bad. Block shot 79, so bad. Speed 80, 79, too. 
I don't know. Power move is 83, so hopefully that can get get off and get some pressure for us. But I I expect so, such little production out of that man that uh, anything that he brings to the table will help. All right, uh, right end we got finished, so we are going to want Mr. Terrence Cody. I think he's actually in jail right now. Um, Terrence Cody, not a great person. He I guess starved a dog is what he's uh, convicted of. So he's really slow, but he's got 87 block shed, and that's really what we need out of our Agat Tavel. He's huge, just a giant man, and he's got high block shed and strength for those that believe in strength, like I want to believe. So many things I want to believe in in this life. Would it be cool if ghosts were real? I don't know. I think I feel I'd feel kind of freaked out personally. Be watching me do stuff to myself. All right, uh, AJ Klein, we're going to buy up 900 quick. 81 speed. This is a guy we're not going to use her. I mean, if your left outside linebacker is on the field in the 4-3, that means your opponent, you're in your base package, you're 43. I mean, I guess you could be in the 46 or 44, whatever. But if you're in the, you're in the base package of the 4-3, the chance that the opponent running the ball is high. So we want somebody with a higher block shed. You know, good speed. Speed is always needed. And uh, the high block shed is needed. To defeat that run I mean if you end up going in a nickel or a dime set your outside linebacker in the 4-3 will be subbed off the field for a cornerback so you don't I don't I didn't focus this guy too much on um, pass coverage you'll see his um, pass or his zone coverage isn't huge 74 is actually decent uh, for silver 74 is pretty good so he does have a little bit of that zone coverage play rec 73 74 zone coverage. so I mean he's okay in, in zone if it, and I mean that's something that you want to balance a little bit but it's not something that you want to super focus on there were other left outside linebackers that had higher zone coverage or higher speed I just wanted a guy a thumper that can get up the middle with the run game get outside with a little bit of speed and uh, do some damage when you because you won't be using that left outside linebacker you'll be using the middle linebacker uh, good all right Dion Jones is up next the right outside linebacker this guy's gonna be on the field in nickel packages so he needed a little bit. Oh, Dion Jones, fifteen hundred coins. All right, I, I, I just need, I need uh, this guy. I think was, I don't think he was far and away. I just want the eighty-five speed and eighty-two block shit on the field. So I, it is something I'm gonna buy. Uh, James Michael Jones is something I all, someone I also mentioned the right outside linebacker spot. I guess I could have picked him up. Let's look for, let's look for uh, um, James uh, Michael Jones. And uh, we'll compare the two. Maybe that wasn't. Mm, I guess we'll just go to right outside linebacker and see. Johnson. Yeah, James Michael Johnson. So he was only 900 coins. So when we compare him to um, Dion Jones, the guy we did get. Deion's a little bit faster, better acceleration, a little worse tackling, a little worse play rec, block sheds higher, pursuit and power, but I think the thing that's uh, is zone coverage is the big difference between them. Um, play rec 76, oh, that's the big difference, 76 play rec versus uh, three zone coverage. So James Michael Johnson is better diagnosing the play, but Deion Jones, I felt the speed and block shed actually won out uh, on the day over me. Maybe Michael Johnson will be my I can I guess I can buy him as a backup and see how he plays for us. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll take him as a backup for the squad. As we just do a little purchase there. Um, so he will back up Dion Jones in case I'm I'm not loving Dion. Dion would be a great second user if you ever get uh, stuck on him. Uh, great. All right, so next up is Trey Wayne's. We're going to the corners now. T T R I was going to do Wayne's, and then I decided to go Trey, and here it is. All right, so let's go to CB's. Oh, let's go to defense. You can probably pick them all off. All right, ooh, he is going for a lot of coins. It's because he's fast. I do not think the Vikings are really in demand, and he's just fast. Let's go to the other guy that's fast, Anthony Brown. All right, Anthony Brown. You know, I'm just going to go to corners. Made the mistake. I should have gone all the way. Don't take half measures. 
Alright, Anthony Brown, 1600, also expensive. Because he's fast, 92 speed. Alright, so I am going to splurge for these two. That's because we splurge over their speed. Alright, 1600. Just gotta make sure I don't have these cornerbacks yet. I, I did a double check and made sure I didn't have it. I mean, a little bit slower. Three and four speed slower. I mean, four speed's significant. That's gonna get you burned over the top versus not burned over the top. So these guys, we can actually press on the line of scrimmage and run with them. Like, the press isn't great, but I mean, like, say you're in a cover four, you can press with this dude. Like, he won't get that press animation, but he can run with any wide receiver in the game and not get beat over the top. So it's something that you can, like, blitz both the inside corners. A lot like I ran the dime flat defense last year, uh, but you need a really fast corner. That when I was running, I had golden ticket corner, so their speed and, and basically playmaking ability allowed, allowed me to do that, but... These guys, speed, they don't really have the playmaking ability. Oh, jeez, 2,000 coins. All right, Trey. Welcome to the squad, man. You're expensive. Hopefully, you're worth it. Twice the price I wanted to pay. You better not be twice the bust. That didn't make sense. Let's hope you you don't bust like a Playboy model. All right, Bradbury. Another pretty fast. The, the, the three and four corners... I want, you know, f obviously speed, but I want higher block shed, so I'm going to buy him here, then we'll take a look at his block shed. I'm going to compare him. Uh, Sanders Cummings is a guy I had on my team already. He's going to be my number four corner for my dime scheme if I decide to run that frequently. Um, so if you look at their... Let's shift over to block shed down here. It's very important your team has high block shed to stop the running game. The running game is so very important. All right, 65 and 68 block shed. So your three and four corners need to be outside. They're basically outside linebackers, or almost outside linebackers in the dime scheme. Whereas you compare them to like the guys who just got Waynes, who has 50 block shed, and uh, not Robinson. Who's the other one we got? Brown. Where's Brown? All right, 55 block shed. Much worse block shed, but they're more outside corners. So hopefully the guys on the inside are able to sweep up before the outside guys really have to make plays for us. If not, if 55 does not show as a high enough uh, block shed, then we might have to invest in a little bit slower but higher block shed guys. But right now, this is the this is how we're going to run the defense is with the high block shed in the middle and a little bit lower guys on the outside. All right, so free safety. We're, we're going to want somebody fast back there. We're going to play a lot of cover three. We're going to want somebody who can cover ground. And uh, we know just the guy. Blake. The one thing I don't love about Blake here is that uh, we're sacrificing block shed and a little bit of zone coverage. But he's got heck of speed. So we're hoping if he makes a mistake in zone coverage, we'll buy him. His 89 speed, high acceleration. Was that 93 acceleration? I, I actually didn't see it. 93 acceleration. Um, we'll make off our play rec. 79 is actually decent for a silver in order to diagnose run versus pass and break on balls. Um, his agility, I really wished. If his agility was 89, I'd be much happier with the card. 84 is not lovely when he's got to stop and break on routes crossing his face, like crossing routes. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of crossing routes in men 17. So agility on a safety, agility in play rec is underrated. Um, but so Blake hopefully back there will not let anybody over the top too much. And again, for strong safety, we're going to want somebody um, tall and fast. Fast mostly is the most important, but tall is a nice bonus. So we're going to go Sean Richardson here. Um, there, You know how Seattle just loves their tall. Oh, okay, 400 coins. Perfect. He's a free agent. Um, 87 speed. Uh, you know, Ryan Murphy was the other guy I potentially thought we could get. Um, he would, the, these two are the ones I was debating to. 6'2", 87 speed, 89 acceleration. Agility is 84, again, a little bit low. Um, but his own coverage is 82. I mean, solid enough. Um, and, and hopefully he can help us out a little bit near the line of scrimmage. But um, let's go fill out our defense. And then we'll stop the vid. And then um, we'll get the gameplay up after this. All right. Let's go over to defense. All right, free safety, Mr. Antoine Blake. There you are. It's He's on the left. He's on the left. To the left, to the left. 
Right outside linebacker Dion Jones with a little bit of backup. There you are, Mr. Jones. Me and Mr. Jones. All right, so it does look like we need a backup middle linebacker. Um, left outside linebacker is the AJ Klein that we talked about. There you go. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll fill this lineup up with backups off uh, video and before we get into the game. All right, so Richardson will be our starting strong safety because he's got strong stats for the job. All right, cornerback number one, Trey Waynes. There you go, 92 speed. You can run like the wind, makes a lot of mistakes, but that's something we have to live with as a silver squad. We have to compensate for. Um, and our number two is Anthony Brown, still 92 speed. Not as good as Trey Wayne's, but still solid. Number three, we have Bradbury. I heard he's a pretty good writer. Also, Ethan Bradbury is a pretty good uh, YouTuber. All right, defensive tackle, we want the big man, Mr. Cody, the dog starver, unfortunately. Which is weird, he had two other, I read the article, he had two other dogs that didn't starve. I don't know what is up. All right, team building 101. I got an achievement. Activate two chemistry at the same time. I done it. We made it. We made it, Ma. All right. Ta Taylor there at the left end. Not great. So we have balanced offense and balanced defense. All right, so that is the squad. Solid 70 overall squad. But these guys are going to be the best performing silvers you can put on the field. I did a lot of research. I hope you guys, if you guys decide to go with this team, I hope this treats you well. I'll show some gameplay off of it in a little bit. But thanks for watching. Call to action. I'll see you tomorrow.